Hello and welcome to the very first edition of the Avid Screencast. My name is Christian Förster and today I want to show you how to create one of those nice reflections that you know from the iTunes store or pretty much every advertisement these days using simple real-time effects. When we're done it should look something like this just without the animation. There you can see the actual image and a nice reflection below it. Okay, so let's get started by creating a sequence. I've just opened a pro project and um, we'll create a sequence by going to clip new sequence, call it reflections or pretty much anything that you'd like to call it. Open some random video. I've just marked some here. Editing that into the sequence. We need two layers, one for the actual image and one for the reflection. So we'll copy the video on video track one. So we'll mark the whole clip and using Alt-C or Option-C on a Mac for copying that clip and at the same time loading it into the viewer. Then we'll patch the video track one to track two in the sequence and edit the same clip just right above. So we have the exact same video on video track one and video track two. So now let's go and create the reflection, the actual reflection. Go to tools, open the effect palette, go to the blend category, use the 3D warp and apply that to the upper video track. Now let's go into the effect editor by going into effect mode. And scale that video down to say 50%. See, there it is. And now let's adjust the position to move it slightly upward. Now we're done with the upper video track. Let's use the exact same effect for video track one to create the reflection by using the effect icon and dragging it onto video layer one. Now let's drag that video down a bit like that and turn it upside down because the reflection of course should be upside down so let's change the rotation along the x-axis to 180 degrees and there we go it's upside down looks pretty good but we need a gradient to make it look like a real reflection right okay so let's create that gradient by using something called highlight turn that on they can see the highlight. It doesn't look anything like a reflection, but we'll change that right next. So make it larger by cranking up the radius. Also turn the intensity all the way up. Crank up the aspect. Okay, doesn't look all that bad. And now let's move that whole thing down. You kind of start to see the light, right? Crank up the softness and adjust the position again. Doesn't look all that bad, but it should be black, right? So let's change the highlight color to black. And now you can still adjust the position of that highlighty thing to make the reflection look really the way you want to have it look. That doesn't look half bad, does it? And the great thing is, it all plays in real time, as you can see. So that's basically it. It's, it's actually pretty simple, isn't it? And all right within Media Composer, which I always think is very, very nice uh, to, to have that all within one app. All right. Thank you for watching this episode of the Avid Screencast. 
If you like, go ahead and subscribe to this podcast at avidscreencast.com, which now actually still looks creepily empty. <laughs> uh, or you can also uh, subscribe in the iTunes store, of course, by just searching for Avid Screencast. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, just drop me a line at mail at avidscreencast.com or just comment on the website. Don't forget to check out my Twitter account at twitter.com slash avidscreencast and my Facebook page at avidscreencast.com slash Facebook. If you'd like to see what kind of things I do professionally, check out my website at editguy.de. There you can see uh, videos of what I'm actually up to. <laughs> so once again, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.